I'm not a continuous, along with my wife, MJ. Ah! We're about to embark on our biggest adventure of a lifetime, climbing Mount Everest. But first, we need to prepare, and by doing that, we need to push ourselves out of our comfort zone, place ourselves into situations that are not only unpredictable, but extremely dangerous. We need the right training skills and knowledge to know what is needed to get through this alive. Along the way, we'll review and show you what is the best price to buy for such challenges, along with the best website and prices. Plus, lots, lots more. On this upcoming vlog, MJ and I test out the new Stingray Tree Tent by Tensor. This is the updated model version 2.0. We'll also show you how easy the pitch and explain what updates are new from the previous model. So join us on YouTube while we train and push ourselves to the limits to get ready for this big climb. This is ALK Extreme. I was only joking. It's not that heavy. Only 10 kilos. It's not a top of 10 you want to take trekking. But anyway, welcome to the Tensile Stingray Top of the Range Tree Tent. We're going to put it up here somewhere and see how easy it is to put up and how comfortable it is actually to sit into it. Anyway, welcome to another ALK Extreme. I'm ALK, Alec. So let's do a review. Hey guys, uh, you know who this is. Say hey, Em and Jay. Good morning guys, hello. So what we're doing today is we're doing the review on the Tensile Stingray Tree Tent. Now this thing goes up there, but apparently it can go down there too. We're about to find out. Just a little bit of feedback for you guys. We've had a lot, a lot of comments in regards to our last three reviews on tents that we've done. We've had the Namage GT, uh, versus uh, the Mac Pack um, Olympus. And we've also had the North Face Mountain 25 updated version compared to again the Namage 3 GT. Now the Namage is the Hilleberg, it is the top of the range tent. And to the guys that have given us thumbs up, thank you very much. And thank you very much for the comments as well, it, it helps a lot. But anyway, moving forward, we've received this tent last week. Um, a bit of a, a, a rundown on this tent. This is a UK based company. It is a family owned business still. It is an architect that designed well, houses in the UK um, and decided to go down the path of building tents in the tree. To me it sounds like an awesome idea but what happens if you have to do your business and you need to get down? Yes, I know what you're about to say is that the tent doesn't need to be 17 feet up in the, in the air. But I like to live up high. What do you reckon? Sounds good, but number one, number two, it's going to be a difficult option. Not really, actually, MJ. Oh, There's a hole in the floor, you just right. squat. But anyway, we'll talk about that a bit later. <laughs> so what we've got here is we're going to install this thing up now and we're going to give you a bit of an idea of what it's really worth um, in its dollar value. and. Uh, is it really worth the money that they're asking for? Again, the architect uh, philosophy is if a spider web, give me one second, MJ, jump in the queue a little bit before we. The architect says if a spider web can have different sections of its web to combine into a stronger uh, middle section, it causes a better um, structure altogether. So let's get this thing happening. Let's see what we have in this bag. Let's go see it. <laughs> she doesn't know what this is. <laughs> there are three pegs with That's a bungee right. cord, okay? So what happens, the fly inside this, okay, would have 
do go to the ground. Okay, this is the only way you can pick them down. And we have some. We have accessories. Okay, I think this is backups for anything that's already on the tent. Construction. Very straightforward. I We've got think the that's fly. Right. Now, just very quickly, where the stingray says here, the printed stingray, this is actually where the main opening is set. So you set this to the front where the main opening is. That's yep. the tent. The tent itself. And... By the way, just to give you an idea, it already, I mean, as you can see, it's all brand new, never been opened up. Now, again, with our reviews, we're very, very straightforward and they're honest about the products. But again, uh, it, so far, it feels quite, quite strong. I mean, Good the material, quality. the base of the tent itself is very thick. Really impressed. So what we've got here is we've got three straps. Um, there are four straps, so we've no, got three. So, three all together. So, one goes around the tent, one goes around the tree. Now, um, again, <laughs> so you know, no it's still got the straps on it. It's brand new, never been used. So, Give instead of strap. trying to show you how to set it up, where there's a thousand other videos out there, we're just going to do a quick time lapse and uh, set it up that way. So, let's get it going. So now, that was just a quick time lapse how to set the tent up. It took literally uh, 30 minutes. Yeah, but we made a few mistakes. Yeah, That's now, correct. Now, one uh, advice you will need when you're doing something like this, make sure that the levels of the, the cords, or the ropes, are actually level the way the tree, uh, the, the tent is. You wanna make sure the platform of the tent is level always, less stress. It's like abseiling actually. You gotta make sure that the uh, pressures are in one point. That's it. So we're gonna do uh, the poles now. And like MJ does everything difficult, she doesn't pull them apart first. Because well, they came like that, they were not separated. You probably have the camera view now. Alright. Now a bit of a, a bit of review here on the poles. They are quite light, but they're not made by DAC, DAC. DAC is the world's extreme pole maker. They make tents, uh, poles oh, for. Extra. They make poles for uh, the Hillyburg tents and obviously the North Face tents. They are the best. These are not DAC poles. What you need to do is put that first off, put it into one of the hot white connectors. Or what the connector on the left? Yeah, is it clipped in? It's in, it's not clipping in. It should, it should, sorry, That was easy. There we go. I want to get in. Can I get in? No. Actually, that's not bad, guys. I mean, it took us maybe 35 minutes to do everything, but we that's our first time setting up, as you're aware. Um, I'm really impressed. Really impressed. So let's open this up. Hold on, I'll put the display. What we're going to do is we're going to change the cameras. We're going to go onto the um, Osmo. 
R plus with the Rode microphone a bit more close and get MJ to jump into it as well okay so let's do it all right now we're using the Osmo Plus um, I'm about to see how it works so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to get MJ to jump on the tent and uh, take his shoes off I will. and see how this thing goes I mean um, I'm actually very interested and excited to see how things go so let's go to her hey guys okay we have opened the main door let's fold the mesh that I don't need to Reaper don't do anything. It's a normal folding like anywhere else. The good thing is you have a protective mesh. So that literally took us only like 35 to 40 minutes in total to set it up. It was only because, as I said, in, in the other uh, part of this, it, it only took us a little while just to get the straps ready. Now, I do need to tell you a few things, guys, is that uh, when it comes to the straps, you need to make sure they're locked down and you need to pull them through. But I'll give you a bit more rundown um, about the straps in a second. So let's get MJ to show you how to get inside. Hey guys, the main door is open. I'm gonna jump in and I will see how it goes, right? Feels weird, it's bouncy. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> it's cool. Woo. Woo. Hold on. Feels like a hammock. It is, that's what they call it a hammock tent, Baba. See what I gotta live oh. with? Yes. She goes, it feels like a hammock. It's actually classified as a hammock tent. It's cool. It's so much fun. Is it really? Yeah. Is it comfortable? So this is what we've got here. So we've got where it's MJ is at the moment. There's one person will sleep. We've got over here is the second person will sleep. And here is the third person. I think once you're here, it's going to balance off more. Yeah. Because... <laughs> It's gonna be interesting sleeping with you here. Exactly. Now tell me about this in the middle here. Okay, in the middle, it's actually another opening. It's actually classified as an entrance. Yes. Where if you're up high, you'll have um, your ladder connected to it. And also, does that is that a mesh that comes? What is mesh? it two zippers or just one? There's an extra pocket. An extra pocket, yeah. Okay. And second entrance. That's it. And that's where you hook your ladder to those little hooks there. That's right. Then okay. Is that another zipper just down there? What's that? Oh, I fall the you out can unzip it from outside. Now, would you like to try to jump from inside? Yeah, we can try that. I will, hold on, I will come closer to you. <laughs> it's like a... Is it roomy? It's a huge amount of space. Anyway, my turn to jump in. Oh. Okay. Fuck. This is yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a bit difficult. It's not following you. How was that? <laughs> yeah, a bit tight squeeze. But we'll see how we go. I'll try to get my fat ass in here. Let's hold this. Wow. Um I'm gonna take my shoes off because I'm gonna test this out. Sorry for the movement guys, but I'm bouncing. Keep in mind that this needs to stretch a little bit. <laughs> you close that off there. And that's it. You don't lay on this. No one lays on this, I say. Yep, this is there as well. Actually, Oh, this is actually not bad. This is actually a good tent if you're in summer and you know there's not going to be any rain. That uh, you have a lot of air coming through now. This is super fine mesh here. And apparently, it's made part of fiberglass. Apparently, okay. This is the new updated tent. This is the new updated tent. So, what's new about this tent? The poles actually go from the outside then, to yeah. coming in. 
okay? Uh, and also the poles have changed a little bit, but it's still not DAC or DAC. Now the poles go from the outside and it comes in, so you have to unzipper it here and then just pull into the grommets. You have um, extra loops, I'm not sure exactly what that's for, but just to give you an idea, I mean, I'm actually, first time I can say in a tent, oh, I'm actually very, 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 very oh, comfortable. Yeah. I mean, the floor, you can tell, is super, super strong. Don't recommend putting dogs in here. If they sharp nails, I'm sure it'll cause some issues. Um, it does need to be tightened a little bit. Now, in saying that, these there's straps underneath this that you need to tighten. Don't tighten too hard because it, it actually crinkles um, the actual flooring. But I'm sure if we let this sit out here for about another 20 or 30 minutes, Another 20 30 minutes, um, it will stretch a bit, but yeah, it's supposed to be a hammock style tent. Put the floor, you put your mat down, sleeping mat, and it's actually quite comfortable. It actually, guys, it is extremely, extremely comfortable, and we haven't got it super, super tight yet. Um, <coughs> excuse me, watching the stars and the moon and summer in this will be absolutely mind-blowing. Wow. Now with this here as well, on the mat down here, you actually can buy a drink holder, so it holds three drinks, <coughs> excuse me, um, and a ladder that goes up and down. And there's also a uh, material, super cheap actually, same flooring material that will actually go over this and Velcros onto this, so you can actually maybe lay on it. Now keep in mind that this holds three people, Grown adults, my weight, I'm 110, so holds up to about 500 kilos. Um, so three people and their luggage. That's why you got the straps on each side. Have a look over there. You can see the straps. You just point over there, babe. These little uh, elastic straps here and on all three sides of the corners. Um, and you can put your luggage under there, pillows or whatever, torches. But uh, Without any further ado, I think we need to put the fly on and see how that looks. What do you reckon? Sounds good. All right, so I'm going to try to get out of this and see how we go. By the way, heaps of uh, uh, headroom. Heaps of headroom. I'm sitting down basically straight. I'm sitting down quite straight. I'm There's going to be a lot of editing with you in this camera, I'm Maya. Leaving. I'm leaving. As you can see here, guys, is that... I'm sitting down straight, I'm in the body of the, uh, the tent, and my head is not even touched. This is actually, I'm impressed. I'm super impressed with this tent so far. Yeah. Oh, so what I'm going to do is try to get down. Move this across, and now go through this rectangle opening in the floor. Now, um, we're not high off the ground, but just to give you an idea is that this uh, opening is not that big so let's get down it i mean i'm on the floor already but uh, don't like to get my socks dirty anyway looks like i'm gonna have to we'll get mj to try to walk out of the i think i need the bigger door to get in and out not if i'm gonna be up high in trees but but i'm impressed guys i'm truly impressed okay let's go Shit. Okay, so. Yeah, see that's real tight, especially with the big fat <laughs> oh. I record the door. Thank you. Now let's get MJ. To what, this little hole? Yeah, try to get out the hole. Very simple. So yeah, so now what we're going to do is try to uh, put the fly put the fly up and see how that goes, go back to the depot. Now again guys, this stingray is on the front here, it indicates the front part of the tent. Now apparently this fly is huge, but we're about to find ourselves. Sorry, I love some of the brand new stuff. 
Show you, show you everyone this. A lot of reviews, a lot of reviews out there on this tent here, and how you know this is the updated model. It has these clips that actually go onto the locking mechanism, where the other ones will have a bungee rope and you have to tie it around. I'm happy. So this would have to be okay. So where's okay? So you need back. to go under. I have the back. Yeah. So you need to go under. Yeah, that right there. Stop, 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 stop. What do you mean you have the back? I have the back. Okay, could be done. You know how to do it? No. Okay, see where the handle is? Once I'll come over there. Oh, the handle is from there? Yeah. Way too easy. That is absolutely way too easy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's it. Got the uh, pig mold. That's what that's underneath there for. Oh, the one is the fly, you have to get in and out. Sting the Stingray. Um, thousand dollars, it's worth it. Every penny. Yeah, it's MJ's just trying to get in. Just got the phone in. MJ's hey. trying to get in and, uh, yeah. It's cool, I like it. Yeah, it's. Let me just get the camera and I'll show you guys exactly. Uh, so, just give you an idea guys this needs to be in the locking system okay now if this is up just a little bit this will slip and you're not gonna have a good night so best thing to do without a bee on the top of the tent hello bee bee's enjoying himself <sighs> anyway push through here should be having MJ to help me with this. Anyway, push through here, go over the top here, push through again. Again, and do it a couple more times. So this will lock it down extra uh, security. Now I'm sure that this will stretch a little bit more and be able to um, tighten a whole lot more the other thing i want to show you guys is this under here is the main strength or the ribs i guess for the tent tighten this up a little bit okay hello hey. tighten this up a little bit so this here is all strength here now it does hold i mean these straps just here are up to two ton of uh holding capacity but just give you an no idea that's mj enjoying us off there okay. so i'm gonna try to get in <coughs> Now this obviously needs to be a lot higher, a lot, lot higher. But saying that, getting up. <laughs> oh my god! And like MJ doesn't know how to hold cameras properly. I see properly. you. Saying that. <laughs> Shoes off. Sorry. 
good from MJ. So that's gonna get dirty anyway. Close the doors. You know what the good thing is, guys, is that in summer there's a lot of snakes in Australia. Venomous snakes and spiders. Um, Huge cockroaches. Anyway, uh, not worried about cockroaches. I do. I'm saying that this tent. Uh, it's. I mean, we haven't even got a high off the ground at the moment, but this tent would definitely uh, save you getting bitten or waking up and there's a big snake in the front vestibule of your tent. I mean, sugar. It's a lot they're getting used to. I think you just need to lie next to me. What do I need to lie next to you for? Because it's off balance. See, it's, more, it's better when it's this way. And the gear just gonna be on the other side. <laughs> so there you have it. It's in my tent. And I absolutely love it. I wouldn't spend any more money than 850 bucks on this. It's, um, it'll be a fun time for two adults and two kids. Your kids will have a, the best time in the world. Mm. And the good thing about these tents as well, I'll just give you a bit of a, uh, an overview, is that you can connect multiple tents together to, to have a whole family. Maybe that's what it's for. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, 100%, but yeah. But, um, yeah. I can't wait to use it in the in summer and, and in the snow. Next weekend, we take yeah. 100%. Yeah. We're going to die by tracking, but who cares? We done it. Longer truck with more weight, we yes. can do shorter truck with similar amount of weight. Yay! She's excited. Anyway, please, again, guys, I do appreciate everyone's giving me the feedback. <laughs> I do appreciate everybody um, putting the thumbs up as well. More feedbacks, more reviews, and obviously, please, subscribe and share our videos because we, uh, I, we do work hard. And it takes a lot of editing because this one talks in different so languages, <laughs> in totally different languages, it's called F word, it's called French, and Polish and dyslexic. I'm working on it. Yeah, seven years and she still hasn't fixed it. But anyway, saying that, thumbs up, press the subscribe button and also the notification button so when our videos do come up, you get to see them. Um, our reviews um, are not just about tents, it's about climbing gear, uh, backpacks, a multiple different things but it's all about camping hiking and everything to get yourself ready for any any trip that you're about to do out there especially for us we're getting ready to do Everest uh, so yeah that's why you're seeing a lot of tents now half of these items we get we do pay full price for and some things we uh, are donated to us to do a good review and then we get to uh, keep them at the end of it but by no means do we get paid okay but anyway in saying that's um, talk to you soon See ya guys! Salute to excellence and please don't forget to subscribe and share our videos. Next video coming up will be uh, something to do with rock climbing or snow camping, but it will be a good one. See you guys!